try to find a way to get the both of them going because um, the defenders that you're going to see in Miami, and, and we'll get to that, you know, their closeout game last, but um, their defense and, you know, the way that Spo has them playing is on a completely different level than what they're seeing from Philly or what they saw from Atlanta in the first round. So they're going to have to take their game up to another notch or else we're going to be looking at a Jimmy Butler in the finals as an eight seed. I'm not opposed to that, especially if my Lakers make it. I'm not opposed to the 2020 <laughs> rematch. I'm not opposed to that, man. The but, bubble will get validated. <laughs> I mean, if the, if the Celtics win the Western Conference from the bubble – and the Eastern Conference bubble is the exact same. That all that's all I'm gonna say. All those people that want to say the bubble didn't count, the bubble wasn't real basketball, this, that, and the third. It could be the same exact one, like how it was in 2020. That's all I'm gonna say. That's so. such a lame and tired argument because, like, <clears throat> what about the bubble wasn't real? Other than okay, there's no crowd. At the end of the day, did they not play the same 48 minutes of basketball? Bro, put it this way. Let's take every single team in the league. Let's let's eliminate no family, no crowd, nothing. You can't even go home. We're all in the same hotel. Let's put you just in the gym. And let's all just play it out and have the best team wins. Is that not the like the pure is the rawest? That's, is that not the rawest form of basketball you can possibly have? Like eliminate all of the distractions eliminate you don't you can't even go see your family bro like you can't do any of that the, all the your fans are on zoom boxes on the led board behind no <laughs> fans in here it is me versus you that is it and we're just playing and whoever is the best is going to win how is that not the like the purest form of basketball how is that how is that somehow worse or like gets discredited compared to like normal like the way it regularly is like that does not make sense to me that's why the arguments that the bubble doesn't count has always been out of pure hatred in my eyes because it's like you don't even have a legit reason as to why it doesn't count. You just say it was the bubble. Like, right. honestly, any anyone that says that, ask them why. They're going to be like, bro, it was the bubble. Like, I don't know. Like, that's all they say. It was just the bubble. They have no yeah. actual reasoning as to why it does not count. It and doesn't make sense. It's, it's crazy because that even extends beyond the fact that the Lakers won it. I feel like these this, this would be – like, some people would feel this way regardless of who ended up winning that championship because – I've seen people try to discredit Jamal Murray. They think, oh, he's just – that was – they call that it true. bubble yeah. with Jamal, right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. we're seeing him be a playoff riser again. Donovan mm -hmm. Mitchell was a playoff riser in the bubble. He's still a playoff riser this, you know, this past series with, with Cleveland aside. And, again, like the same – we're trending in a way where we have the potential to have the exact same conference finals matchup from the bubble. Obviously, all of these teams' rosters look different. But at the end of the day, bro, like, like you said – there's no fans. It's just basketball. It's pure hoops. How could you try to discredit that? And the who's band? playing well? Jamal Murray. Who's playing well? Jimmy Butler. Who's playing well? The Lakers. Like, all these – it's just the bubble guys. Like, come on, bro. The only case y'all got is TJ Warren. He sucks. That's the only case y'all got. He was Michael <laughs> Jordan in the bubble, bro. He was a hooven in the bubble. Yeah. Y'all want to say that? Yeah, I got me there. I have no case for that. I'm sorry. But other than that, bro, the people who try to discredit the bubble, I do, I, do, that's a little bit interesting because normally I always felt like it was just because the Lakers won it. But now that you do mention it, they do try to discredit Jamal Murray. They just try to, they try to discredit uh, Donovan Mitchell. I feel that it's 10 times worse, though, the fact that the Lakers won it. And you know how people hate LeBron. So, like, yeah. it gets 10 times worse. But I do, I do agree with what you're saying. Like, people just try to discredit it as a whole. And I feel like just because it was something that you're not used to and that is different, that doesn't right. mean not legit. Like, what are we talking about? Like that that those arguments just never made sense to me.